اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آت اف دا کریشن اف دا زائنس موومن ایٹ از دیز خازا جویش این کرشتن فو ناو موو تو دا ہولی لین اسسٹیڈ بائی a strange and mysterious Jewish holocaust and the history of that will one day be revealed on judgment day how much was their input <laughs> into the holocaust hmm? so that you have an exodus now of these European Jews to the Holy Land When the state of Israel comes into being, who it is who controls power in Israel? Not the Oriental Jews, the darker-skinned Jews, no. They are second-class citizens. The ones who control power in Israel are the European Jews. There is The last part of this analysis which is absolutely fascinating. I, I have to confess that I enjoyed <laughs> writing this book. I know that we'll have to write a second edition because there are very important parts which are left out for size. size. But here is the hadith. that after Nabi Isa alayhi salam returns and after he kills Dajjal the hadith says فَبَعَثَ اللَّهُ يَعْجُوجَ وَمَعْجُوجَ Allah will send Gog and Magog I think the meaning here is he will send them now to their final destruction. This is the sending. And they will pass by the Sea of Galilee, which is when it's going to go dry. And Nabi Isa al-Islam will be targeted. They won't spare him. And he will go up the mountain, which is a mountain in Baytul Maqdis. Sahih Muslim and the believers will go up the mountain with him and God and Magog will then say now listen carefully we have killed those on earth now let us kill those in the heavens above And they will shoot their arrows up into the sky. And Allah will allow the arrows to come back down with blood. And then Nabi Isa Islam will make dua to Allah to destroy them. And Allah will send something like a tiny little insect a virus something which attacks them at the top of the spine and uh, they display a, an amazing incapacity to defend themselves The immune system seemed to have collapsed completely. And this little insignificant biological attack, <laughs> that's all it takes. And they fall down, paralyzed. And by next morning, not only are they dead, but their bodies are decomposing and smelling. Stink. And then Allah's messenger Nabi Isa Islam will pray to Allah and he will send birds, prehistoric birds whose necks will be like camels. And they will pick up these bodies 
and take them where Allah ordains that they be disposed of. This is a crucially important hadith that I have chosen not to deal with in detail in this book because I don't think that I have fathomed it enough. But this much I recognize that we're dealing with a Gog and Magog confrontation which would involve what today is called Star Wars missile technology that would send missiles up into the sky a war involving missiles up in the heavens why would you send missiles up in the sky because you have a spy station up there <laughs> and they're directing their war from there so if you want to defeat them here on the earth you're going to have to defeat destroy that revolving spy station up there I want to suggest to you that the coming Gog and Magog confrontation we have defeated those on earth now let us defeat those in the heavens above is a confrontation between Gog and Magog which will leave both Gog and Magog eventually paralyzed so I have to look in the region of the Caucasus mountains north of the Caucasus I have to look for those who have the capacity for sending the arrows up into the sky the missiles the Star Wars technology I know that Gog and Magog are working in tandem with the Dajjal and the objective is that the Dajjal must establish his rule over the whole of mankind and he's using Gog and Magog as his foot soldiers if one people are to rule the world and you have two people with equal power Gog and Magog then the one has to establish its authority over the other God has to rule Magog or Magog has to rule God do I need to continue the lecture or have you already understood it we must locate two centers of power in the world both seemingly indestructible both matchless in the world both with a capacity for Star Wars and one attempting to establish its rule over the whole world and therefore its rule over Magog and Magog resisting not the Chinese Chinese are businessmen <laughs> the Chinese are businessmen how much do you offer? but the Russians will never submit Russia is precisely such a power that Russia can stand up Russia gave them a bloody nose in Georgia just a year ago and Russia is in a fighting mood they have been they have been circling Russia